far is Scott Andercheck. He also would like to speak on uh, Z1. I would encourage anyone, again, who would like to speak, to address the board on agenda items, to uh, fill out a card over here to your left. Uh, again, you'd have three minutes. Uh, when you get to 30 seconds remaining, the light will flash. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioner. Good morning. Um, I'm Scott Andrzejczak, for the record, I'm speaking for SOS. Um, we are, of course, opposed to the sewer project, as you know about it. Uh, we've spoken about this many times, and uh, this is an unnecessary project, and as I introduced last time I was here, Mr. Chairman, um, the emails between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart talking about there's no pollution in the area, so there's no need for this program. This program is a waste of taxpayers' money. If we're gonna have this program, you should have a reason for the sewers. You have no reason. The emails I introduced last time, internal emails between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart stating Second, right? that there is no pollution in the Spring Lake area oh, proves there is no need for this hardship Ms. program. Ms. I'm sorry, I don't mean no, to interrupt you, Ms. sir. Mr. Andrews, please. Um, I understand if you want to speak towards the entire program relative at the end of the meeting you can go into those other subjects that you're concerned about this specific item is related to the hardship program the Correct. rebate so if you could focus on that i'd really appreciate it and again if you want to speak at the end about um, things in general that's fine okay and I, I stopped the clock so you you, you still I, have I appreciate your time. stopping my clock sir and please don't start it my um i am addressing the hardship program Okay, if you could get on point. And I, and I will okay. later, I will speak at length later okay. about the emails and the other documents. But okay. everything I'm talking about now is tied to the hardship program. Okay, will you get on point, sir? I appreciate it. Okay, okay so um, I'm sorry, could you? Yeah, we're, I, we're I, you took away the clock, sir. I don't know how much time I have. But two minutes, just tell 30 me how seconds. I'm sorry? 2.30. Thank you. Okay. So uh, I was saying that the point is we don't need the hardship program. We don't need the rebate program because we don't need the sewers. Okay, if we needed the hardship, we would need the hardship program if we actually had a reason for the sewers. The, the documents that I've given to you, and we've spoken to you about this before, sir, prove from Mr. Eigelhart's own words, not my words, not SOS's words, is Mr. Eigelhart saying there is no pollution in the harbor. So we are wasting taxpayers' money building a sewer system that we do not weed, need, and the residents do not want. So if you, if you would talk, I mean, there's many things in this hardship document. I mean, we appreciate your folks saying, you know, we're going to try to help out the, the public, et cetera. But basically what you're doing is you're spending, I don't know how many millions of dollars over the next 20 years for a hardship program, sir, that we do not need. And so that is our problem with this. This is government waste and abuse in our eyes. And if you had a reason for the sewer, we introduced how many documents in this room, Mr. Chairman, proving from the University of South Florida Water Atlas and other documents proving there is no pollution in the harbor from the septic systems. We have proven this in, in, indisputably. And now we have internal emails between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart, the head of FDEP, saying right here, very clearly that it was based on assumptions. There are no scientific evidence. There's no scientific evidence and no studies. And he actually says there are no studies in the Spring Lake area proving that the septics are polluting the harbor. So I'll speak later, Mr. Chairman, okay. at length about this. But this is a waste of taxpayers' money, and you're putting a lot of our poorest residents at risk of losing their homes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Okay, I have no other cards. Uh, anyone else? I'll give you one last chance. Anyone else would like to? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Scott Andrzejczak, again. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is um, one of the things that we've discussed, and uh, again, we're calling for Mr. Sandrock's uh, removal from office, specifically for these emails, but also for the disaster that is known as Sunrise Waterway and Sunshine Lake. I I'd like to go back again, Mr. Chairman, to these emails between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart, okay? Now, this was three months after the interview with NBC2 News, where a lot of us are just saying he flat out lied and he was caught about the consent order. He mentions five times to Mr. Eigelhart he wants the consent, he, he wants 
them to say that we're under this consent order. Of course, there was no consent order, okay? So um, one of the things in here that I found most interesting for Mr. Eigelhart was um, that he says very clearly, there is no specific study of the area to be sewered, and credit was based on assumptions. How many times in this room did we have CCU staff and commissioners and others saying, the harbor's polluted, the harbor's polluted, we have the science? There was none, okay? What's also interesting about this is that, and we have other emails regarding this, in the letter that Mr. Igerhart sends to us, to the county, okay, he edits out the part that is in the email saying there is no science. Mr. Sandrock has him put this on a letterhead, making it look all pretty and official, and I can prove this because I have other emails between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart deliberately manipulating this letter to look like FDEP is 100% behind and that we have to do this. But here in Mr. Eigelhart's own letter, he says very clearly, when it's just privately between Mr. Sandrock and Mr. Eigelhart, he says very clearly, there is not a specific study from the area to be sewered. Then Mr. Sandrock manipulates a panel of experts here in front of us where you had five and a half hours of public testimony saying you have no science. Okay, and all of them come up here and say, it's polluted, it's polluted, it's polluted. This is a manipulation and an abuse of the process that we call democracy. And yet when we come up here, we get intimidated by this county commissioner. We have dozens of police searching our bags and trying to intimidate us into silence. Okay, so here, Mr. Sandrock, after the inter interview with NBC, he writes this memorandum, which all of you have seen, and he says, I'm very disturbed by the NBC2 news story as they twisted words to accomplish their message, which is not in line with the truth. Who twisted words, Mr. Sandrock? Mr. Eigelhart says very clearly, there is no consent order, there is no pollution, there is no specific study, and then you go on the camera and you say these things, and that's why I ask you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sandrock needs to be removed from office. We are liable for his actions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay, this is.